is Jess and welcome back to my channel. Hey okay, guys, welcome back. So happy to have you here today. And for today's video, I have more fall ideas, inspiration for you guys. This season is coming really soon, so I need and I want to get prepared and I want to share with you my ideas and the things that I'm doing to decorate for fall. So I did three new Dollar Tree DIYs and they turned out so beautiful, amazing and on a budget. So if you like them, a big thumbs up. That really helps to support my channel. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos and remember to follow me on my other social media pages my webpage and my other channel just on my home we're going to be uploading a new video super soon so make sure that you are subscribed to that other channel all the links are always in the description box of every single video um so yeah I hope that you like this one and let's get started Okay, to start this project, you can use one of these um, wooden sticks that you can get from the plungers from Dollar Tree. Um, you're going to need two of these. I didn't have enough, so I decided to use this other dowel that I just have at home. You can get this on Home Depot, Walmart, um, maybe Lowe's, and I'm going to cut it in half. Basically, it's the same size, and they are about 18 inches long each one. Now, what I want to do is to use my sanding sponge, and I'm going to be sanding all of the edges just of the wood to make sure that they are smooth. Next, um, you can use these wooden rulers from Dollar Tree. They come to any package. I only have one. So I decided to use these sticks that you can get like from Walmart and Lowe's too. They're so cheap and they come three in a package. I'm going to be using two of them and I'm going to be cutting them with my saw machine about nine inches long each one. And I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to use my sanding sponge and sand all of the edges to make sure that they are smooth. Now what I want to do is to make some marks and I'm going to draw a small mark about three inches and a half and the other one in the same towel about um, like 11 inches and a half. I'm, I want to make a ladder and these are going to help me to stick my uh, like steps or the sticks um, in the right way and make sure that they are level. And I'm going to be gluing these with hot glue. You can use wooden glue. It's going to take more time to dry but um, it's going to work so much better. Okay, now that my ladder is ready, I'm going to be painting these. You can use any stain, any paint color. I love the wood tones, so I'm going to use my Waverly Wax in Antique Color, and I'm going to be painting this with my brush, and once I paint everything, I'm going to be using a small piece of fabric, and I'm going to remove all of the extra wax that it has. Um, it's going to help dry so much faster, and it's going to give it a lighter tone. Once the wax and the wood is super dry, I'm going to be using um, my sanding sponge and I'm going to be sanding all of the edges. This is going to give it an extra touch, more dimension, and I love to do that on my projects. Okay, once I have that part ready, I want to add an extra touch to make this super cool for fall. And I'm going to be using this bag that I got from Dollar Tree and it's so cute. I love the colors and they come in different patterns. And I think these orange tones are perfect now for fall. But this time I'm actually going to be using only like the back part. Um, I want these to look a little bit more neutral. So I'm going to be using that neutral burlap piece. And I'm going to be cutting four small pieces. They look like small red rectangles um, and you need to make sure that you cut them as straight as possible. Once I have my four pieces, you can add so many things. You maybe can use your Cricut to create a decal. You can use paint and paint these yourself. Or you can use stickers, and these ones are from Dollar Tree. It's a super cheap and easy option. Um, and I'm going to be choosing the letters to form the word fall. 
once I have that I'm going to also be using a piece of your twine and I'm going to be cutting two small pieces then I'm going to be sticking these burlap pieces on the your twine or the rope that you may have and these are going to be for hanging my word fall and I'm going to be sticking those pieces of rope on the back side of the steps with hot glue From there, I'm going to be using these fall pig that you can also get from Dollar Tree. And I really like this one. I love all of the orange tones now for fall. Um, so I'm going to be adding two, one on top and one on the bottom part of this letter. And once I was done, this is how my project turned out. It was super easy to make and I use things that I just have at home but I show you how to do it using Dollar Tree items and it's so on a budget and I think it can look amazing close to your fireplace or maybe on your entryway For the next project, I'm going to be using these candle holders that you can get from Dollar Tree and they come in three different sizes and I got one of each one of them and then I'm going to be painting these with my ultra matte black spray paint and I give it two coats of paint and then I let them dry and I love how they look but I want to like give it an extra touch. So I'm going to be using this gold metallic paint. You can get this from Walmart and I'm going to be using that with a sponge and basically what I'm going to do is to like add the paint on the edges or on those parts that you want your candle holder to pop out a little bit more and it's super easy to do these with a sponge. You maybe can use like a makeup sponge to do it and that can work amazing too. Once I was done and I let the paint dry, this is how my three candle holders look and I think that, I don't know, I just love the combination between the black and the gold color. Um, so yeah, this is how they look and next I'm going to be adding some candles inside from Dollar Tree and I think that these three candle holders can look amazing if I put them on top of these circular plaque that I already paint in some wax antique color and this is how this project turned out. It was super easy to make and these candle holders can be used all year round for any season and they are going to give it that high-end look on any space. For this next project, I'm going to be using this tumbling tower game that you can get from Dollar Tree. These are like Jenga blocks and I'm going to be using about one package of these and half of another one. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is to create like some plaques. I'm going to be sticking the Jenga blocks together forming sets of three and I need to have a total of six of them. Once I have that, I'm going to be sticking these six sticks together with hot glue. You can use wooden glue to make these super, super stronger, but I just prefer hot glue to make it dry faster. Once I stick these six sticks together, I'm going to be adding four Jenga blocks to make the sides look better. And I'm going to repeat the same steps four times because I need to have four of these plaques in total. Next, I'm going to be sticking two of them together because I need to have like these very chunk pieces, very thick. So um, if you stick two of these plaques together, they are going to look so cool. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I want to make like a lantern so um, to give it some height between these two plaques I'm going to be using this plunger wood stick from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be cutting two small pieces they are like six inches along each one of them so I cut these and then I'm going to stick those um, in the middle of, of the plaques and then I'm going to be sticking the other plaque on the top of the wooden sticks Thank you. 
like I said, I'm going to be making a lantern and you can do a lantern in so many ways and styles. This is how I'm going to do it. I think it's super cool and so unique. Once they are stick, I'm going to be adding some more blocks on the top of the lantern just to give it some height and some more dimension to our lantern. And this other piece that I just have at home and I think it's going to look so cool. Okay, once I have that and my lantern is ready, it's time for paint these and I'm going to be using some wax in antique color and I'm going to paint all my lantern and then with a piece of fabric, I'm going to be removing any excess of wax. I'm going to leave the top part of this lantern without the wax because I decide that I want to paint it in another color so I decide to use some black paint very carefully and then I'm going to let it dry. Once my lantern is dry, I, like always, I love to use my sanding sponge and sand all of the edges. These are going to give it an extra touch, more dimension to the project, and I just love that. And I think it also gives that, like, farmhouse look that I'm looking for for this fall season. Once I was done sanding, I'm going to be using a small piece of rope and I decide to put that between um, like the top part of the lantern um, and this is going to give it like a more realistic look. Once I have that part ready, it's time to put whatever you want like inside of the lantern and I decide to use this small jar and I'm going to be adding some LED battery lights inside and then you can add maybe some stems or flowers or maybe like a pumpkin or something like that. And you have so many options, you maybe can add a battery candle too. Um, and this is how my lantern turns out. I think it looks so cool, so unique and it's perfect now for fall or maybe I can change the stems and add something else for any other season but yeah I just hope that you like it and that you can get inspired this is how all my projects turn out and I think they're so cool of course on a budget using Dollar Tree items or things that you have around your home um, so if you like these ideas and this video give me a big thumbs up let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites and make sure that you are subscribed hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family remember to follow me on all my social media pages web page and my other channel just on my home a new video is coming really really soon so make sure that you are subscribed all the links are always in the description box of every single video Mwah. love you so much guys and see you on my next one